What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, this is how I get subscribers, you guys. Obviously, there's there's many different methods, and there's just organic alone, right? Like, once your videos start getting picked up by YouTube, once people really start knowing who the hell you are, and how does that even happen? Because you're consistent. Because you're actually consistent. You're putting up a few videos per week. You're you're playing in the favor of the YouTube algorithm or it's playing in your favor at that point. Um, and YouTube starts to share your stuff. YouTube starts to put your videos in the suggested. They start to put your videos on people's homepage um, or, or the actual, you know, feed or whatever like this over here. Let me show you. If I just come, this is my actual homepage, right? Like this is my profile page or whatever the hell you want to call it on YouTube. But this is my um, my home, my homepage, right? This is right here. Boom. Someone can come here and boom, there it is there. But if I go home, if I click on the top left, that takes me to, you know, whatever the hell they call it, the YouTube news feed. I don't know. This is where a bunch of recommended videos are at, right? So as your channel starts to take off, little momentum, little, little wins here and there, you either are in the recommended or you're in, like, let's say, for example, I click on a video or you're over here on the right hand side. Okay, these are all different videos that are on the right hand side. Now, this is a playlist. This is a playlist. So, let's go below the playlist. Below the playlist, we see all these videos. These are all other videos that are showing up as I watch, as I watch this one, right? So, this is that organic pull. This is that YouTube algorithm pull. Um, and it takes a shitload. It takes freaking consistency. It takes freaking putting, you know, the right descriptions and the right key keywords and the right tags and the right thumbnails, right? Your thumbnails, your titles of the video. Everything I just said right there is the art behind the scenes as you upload. It's all, everything I just mentioned right there. Okay. I don't need to repeat it right there. If you took note on that and you're uploading two to three times per week, that gives you a better, a better chance to really get in, in YouTube's favor, man. And, and where this channel can just start to grow. I'm telling you guys, it started with me wanting a hundred subscribers because I wanted to customize my channel. And then, and then once I got a hundred subscribers, that was like in 2017, maybe 2018. Um, I was fired up, was able to customize my link and thought I was the shit. I'm like, hell yeah, dude, 103. Hell yeah, let me customize this shit. And then it just seemed like a slow ass ride, a slow ass ride. You know how you're at, at those freaking roller coaster parks and you're on a roller coaster and you're at level, you know, ground, ground zero. And as you're just on that roller coaster and you're on that track and it just goes like this. And then before you know it, you're going up and up and up, but it's a slow ass freaking up, right? That's how it felt, man, when I was on, you know, on my mission to 200. And then on my mission to 300 subscribers, it felt like forever. I wasn't even, a thousand subscribers is what you need to be monetized. I didn't even know what the hell that was at that point. Like me having a hundred subscribers, I was fired up and I'm like, holy shit, this is cool. But it wasn't like my videos were getting views. I had like seven views, right? It's like, dude, I'm telling you, man, you've heard this a million times on other people's channels, but I'm telling you straight from my heart, this is a real deal, holy field experience. This is the shit that, that I'm experiencing. Um, and so as I freaking trucked along, man, truck, trucked along 2017, 2018, now I'm trying to be a little bit more consistent, staying on topic, but, but being a little bit more consistent with the uploading. And then it wasn't until 2019 when I really started looking into it. I started following other mentors. I started looking at their channel and, and they started showing their numbers on what YouTube was paying them. And I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, dude, what you're making on YouTube alone would pay for my entire overhead. And I started looking at that. I started analyzing that like in 2019. And then I started learning how people were doing it. I ended up getting a little course investing. That's what I'm saying, man. You guys want to get better in your business, but you're afraid to invest. You're afraid to invest in marketing or you're afraid to invest in education. It's like, dude, but you'll be the first to go buy that textbook at your community college. You'll be the first to go pay for a college credit. What the hell? Your parents will be so with it to pay for your college education. But the moment you tell them you want to invest in some courses to teach you some shit about bettering yourself, 
all red flags go up. It's like, what the hell? What really? Like it, it, it blows my mind, dude. It blows my mind on how people are, are hesitant to invest in themselves, AKA their business and even into marketing. Right. And so since day one, man, I've been, I've been talking about that. And I've been, and, and so in 2019, I invested in some small ass YouTube course. One of my mentors had a little ass YouTube course and I'm like, shit, if he's at 50,000 subscribers and I'm at over here, freaking at that time, let's just call it maybe, 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 maybe a thousand subscribers. I think at that point I maybe hit, may, may have hit a thousand subscribers when I'm like, holy shit, dude. This actually is getting kind of interesting. And, and I ended up buying this YouTube course, little random ass YouTube course of me telling you exactly what I just told you. Keywords, description, thumbnail, title. It taught me all that, uploading two to three a week. And I'm like, dude, I can do that. I'm like, I can do that. And that was, that was in 2019 when I started being really consistent and I started putting up a few videos per week. And then so at the end of 2019, that's when I started getting my first paychecks from YouTube. And I was like, holy shit, this is cool. Because even though my first check was only 291, 300 bucks, you're telling me if 300 bucks came into your life right now, aside of your daytime hustle, you wouldn't be fired up. What if that check came in the following month and it was 400? What if, what if it came again? Let's look at um, last month. Let's go to revenue. And then let's click on February. Right now we're March, March 4th. Last month, bam, 533. You're telling me if an extra 533 came into your life on the side and it was a form of residual income. I'm putting up videos, you guys. Yes, that's taking my upfront physical effort. But once the video is up, it's monetized. And I don't give a shit if it's just a few pennies. That, <clears throat> that compounds. Excuse me, I can't even talk. I'm so fired up. That compounds, that is a form of compound interest, especially when it increases every single month. Like shit, I can't put, I can't put, you know, a few hundred bucks into the stock market and see that. How much money do I need to invest in the stock market? I asked this to a real estate investor on a, on a phone call yesterday. Honest to God truth. I said, Donna. Actually, no, it was Deborah, 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 Deb, Deborah, Deb. I said, Deborah, shout out to Deborah. I said, Deborah, how much money do I need invested in real estate to see a positive cash flow of 500 bucks a month? And I told her, I said, out here in San Diego, people's mortgages are 3,500, four grand. So it's like, dang, dude, if I was an investor and I want to go buy a single family home in San Diego and I paid 500 grand for it and my mortgage on that is 3,500 and I'm going to rent it out to a family next door, you're telling me I got to pay them, I, I got to charge them four grand? For me to have a, a positive cash flow of 500 because I got to cover my $3,500 mortgage, right? I'm like, dang, dude, when all I got, when all I got to do is, is take the content that I'm already putting out for my business, the content that I'm already putting out on social media. You're telling me, David, all I, all I got to do is also park it over here. And in 12 months, I can start seeing some type of, of, of positive cash flow. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. And so right now, you guys, that's where the income is at. And it's just going to keep increasing every single month because I'm not going to stop uploading videos. Um, and that subscriber subscriber uh, count, shout out to every single one of you, man. God bless you. Shout out to every single one of you. I just want you to freaking know this is the truth, man. I pray for you guys every single day. Every morning I'm on my knees, man, and I'm praying for my YouTube fam. I'm praying for my YouTube subscribers. I am thankful. I am grateful for every single one of you that smashes that subscribe button. You have no idea because this shit over here, this is income. This is money. This is revenue from ads playing on my videos. So obviously my videos are being ran. Obviously people are watching them. So if you're getting any kind of value, man, drop me a comment below, subscribe, share this video. This whole video is, 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 is going to show you really, I'm going to walk you through how I get more subscribers, but this is just one way. It's not, I mean, shit, I'm telling you the first way recommended those videos on the side right? That's all organic pull. That's all working with the YouTube algorithm. But what else can you do aside of that? You could take that, you could take your subscribe link, which is the link in the description right there. That is your subscribe link. Okay. That's your subscribe link. All you're going to do is, um, is, is copy the back part of it, which I'll show you. Okay. Um, so this right here, you guys, this right here, 
look in in March it's already thirty five bucks. In March it's already thirty five bucks. But let's go back to this man. <clears throat> Let me just show you how 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 we're doing this, okay? Before I just really really go off on a tantrum, because this stuff fires me up, you guys. This fires me up. Seventeen ninety four. And here's what I'm going to do. You can obviously take that link. And here's the link. Here's the actual link. It's actually right in the description. You guys see it right there. But here's what you want to do. Here's what you want to do. So, for example, it's youtube.com forward slash David Cantero 3P. 3P TV, okay? 3P TV. That's my URL. What I added to the end of it is this right here. So whatever your URL is, here's what you're going to do. This part right here, you're going to cut. You're going to come over here to your YouTube channel. You're going to come to your, um, to your home. Let me, um, so if you click on the profile picture and you click on right here, your channel. Here's what I want you to do. So most likely you have this long whatever link, right? What you're going to do is you're going to simply paste this at the end of it, okay? You're going to paste that at the end of it. So if someone ends up hitting that, let's see if, if it will do it on that one. Okay, so that wasn't that. Wasn't that, that was a different one. I was trying to do it on this, on just this random but mine, or, mine already has it. Let me see if I can go to like a, like a, let's see if I can go to this one up here. So if I go to their channel, let's go to their channel. So Moves Unlimited, shout out to Moves Unlimited. There's their link, right? There is their link. So if I paste this back end part, okay? If I paste that back end part and I hit enter, Bam, it takes you straight to their subscribe button. This right here, here's what I did. I took this URL on mine, right? I took that entire URL. I went over to GoDaddy and I bought inspireddigital.tv. And now that is the link that you see on all my social media platforms, Inspired Digital TV. When you go to that, you click on that link, whether it's my Twitter, my, my LinkedIn, my YouTube, whatever, my Facebook. It's that URL in the website field, right? When you click on that, boom, you come straight to my subscribe button. So that's what I have on all of my social media platforms. And then that, that's, that's simple, right? As you start to build your social media brand, that's the .com. That's the link that, that you're driving attention to. People are going to click on it. And when they click on it, they're coming straight to the subscribe part. And all they got to do is subscribe, boom, right? They can obviously hit cancel and then be on your page. Yeah, for sure. But I don't want to bring them straight here because then I still have to have them come over here and click this red button. I think it's just, just one step too many, right? Send them the direct link. Send them the direct subscribe link and, and let them see that subscribe button or what? Or my bad. Let them see, um, well, you guys know what I was talking about, but let them see that subscribe page right away, right? And that's what you want to do. So I, got, I bought a personal domain. When you click on that, you go to my subscribe. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simply come into my email autoresponder, right? I use Karcher for everything. There is a link pinned at the top, Karcher Mail. There's a 14-day trial. Just the email side of lo alone of Karcher is one huge reason why I use Kartra. okay? It's one huge, huge reason why I refer Kartra. It's one huge, one, re one huge reason why I am a Kartra fanatic. And I get paid on Karcher every single month to refer people because I'm so fired up. It's one huge reason. It's the, it's the my communications. It's the email autoresponder, dude. You have to, once you, once you start knowing email automation, it's like, man, this shit right here is powerful. And because it's all in one, that's another reason why I use it. It's like, dude, I don't have to be logged into ClickFunnels and then be logged into my, into my freaking get response, right? Or be logged into my ClickFunnels and then be logged into my MailChimp. And also be logged into my Calendly and also be lo logged into my Teachable because I have a training course and also logged into my affiliate marketing when everything is done through here. Like it's like, dude, all these multiple platforms, man, is why I use it. So here, here's the deal. 
I'm going to email my list. So this right here is one way I get YouTube subscribers and we're going to test it too. I'm going to send out the email and let's see if anybody clicks on it. We'll give it 15 seconds. Let's see. Let's see who knows. Obviously that 15 seconds ain't nothing, but let's see if anything happens in 15 seconds. Let's send this email out my communications. And this right here is going to go to list. It's going to go to people on a specific list, right? You have your list and you have your email sequence. Those are two different things. When people opt into your landing page, they're now on an email list. That email list, you need to tie it to an email sequence. The email sequence is your email autom autoresponder. That's your email automation. That's why I, I, I consult with clients all day. And I'm like, dude, the goal is to drive it to a Facebook ad. When they click learn more, you're taking them to a landing page to capture the name and email. That name and email is now on a list inside of an email sequence. And now every day for as many days as you want, that person is going to receive an email from you. You know what I mean? That's your email automation. That's how you're going to nurture your list. That's how you're going to stay top of mind of prospects that are literally in your local backyard if you're running local ads. So this right here, people came in from a specific landing page. They landed on a list. That list is tied to a sequence and now they're getting automated emails. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, all that's already in motion. I'm going to just send out a, 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 a random one-off email and I'm going to do that under broadcast. Okay. So communications hover over that, click on broadcast. And these are your one-off emails. I didn't think I was going to do this 30 minutes ago. It randomly popped in my head. And I'm like, shit, let me just record it for everyone and, show, and walk you through how I do it. But I was already going to do it and it just popped in my head to do it right now. So I might as well, I might as well, you know, show you how I do it. So here's what I'm going to do. We're in broadcast and then I'm going to click the green one. And this one's going to be, um, um, subscribe to my channel. Okay. And then, and then category, I'm going to send this to, I'm going to send this to, dang, it could go to a lot of them. It could go to a lot of them. In fact, I am going to send it to a lot of you guys. So if you're on any of my lists, you're most likely going to get this. And if you're already subscribed, it's all good. But I, I, I'm, I'm willing to bet there's probably a ton that may have not subscribed. They opted into one of my lists, Digital Agency Blueprint, Digital Course Blueprint, Inspire Digital. They, log, they, they opted into some of my lists, but they're not all price. And 99% and, and and of those people came from my YouTube channel. Because if you look in the description, there's links for everything, right? That's how I'm building all of these lists. And these lists aren't, aren't the biggest yet, but shit, they're growing, right? They're growing. Um, and they're all people interested in a specific topic, right? FB ads for beginners, right? Realtor clients, digital course blueprint, digital agency, right? So I have book customers. I have all these lists. And so this email is actually going go to go to a lot of them. So let me just kind of, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to make this one general under, under Inspire Digital. So you can categorize everything. That's what's so cool. So I'm categorizing this broadcast. That way, if I ever want, I can go to that category and look at every, every email I sent out to them. Now, these are broadcasts. This is not the email automation, right? That's the sequence. This is the one-off email that I'm going to just randomly send right now. Um, and I'm actually going to, yeah, I'm going to send it to, I'm going to send it to quite a few people. Inspire, so I'm going to use this email. I'm going to use that email. Okay, and we hit save. That has to be a .com. It cannot be a, or it can be .net or whatever, but it can't be a Yahoo or Gmail or, you know, anything like that. Save and next. Okay, so this is going to go to people who are subscribed to a list. Okay, and there's all kinds of different ones. I could go people who um, have purchased. I can go with, tar send this email to everyone who has not purchased this product. And how do we know they purchased that product? Because we tagged them or because they're on a specific list right? So I could, I could go with people who are, who have not purchased a product and send them an email, right? There's so many different ones I can go with. And so in this one, subscribe to the list. As long as they're subscribed to the list, then they'll get this one. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with book customers who completed five steps. And you don't, here's very, this is very important as well. You have to know the and, or I was stupid and I still am stupid, but I was ignorant in the beginning 
to not even know the difference. I even emailed support. I'm like, hey, dude, this shit's confusing. What's the difference? And or, right? And now that I think about it, I'm like, dude, that's so basic. It, I was, it's like they must have thought I was stupid, right? But all that means is and or, right? They're subscribed to this list and they're also subscribed to the other list, right? Now, again, that's and, and they are. So they have to be literally subscribed to both. If you want either one, then you go with or, right? They're either subscribed to this list or they're subscribed to a different list, okay? So I'm gonna go with or. They're on that one, book customers, or they're subscribed to, um, I think those are this, I'll just go with those ones too. I don't know if there's anyone on that list. Yeah, there's people on that list. Okay, so or subscribe to Fire Lead Students, Digital Agency Blueprint, this one. And then also subscribed to Digital Course Blueprint. And I think it's only five that I can go with. So I might, I think this might be subscribe to list or Aspire Digital Appointments, FBS for beginners for sure. Let's see if I can go with one more or am I tapped out at five? Let me see. Free book customers. Damn, I want, I need that one too. See, shit, I can't, dang it, dude. I need that one. Um, Let's go with, let's go with, let's go with. I'll take that one out to add, to add the other one. Okay. That puts a 348 count. Okay. So dude, I mean, shit, what, it doesn't hurt, right? It doesn't hurt to send an email to everyone on my list and see if I can get a few more subscribers out of that. If I could take the 17, what is it at? Let's refresh this. If I could take the 1794 to 1800 by sending this simple email out, why not? You know what I mean? Um, so that those are the list, not the sequences. Those are the list of people that this email is going to. Okay. And it's going to be a simple email, man. Sim simple email. Over here, I'm going to go advanced because I already have a template saved. So I'm going to go with um, my templates and I'll just pull over this basic template that I already have saved. And I already have, what, what I mean by saved is really just my copyright down here and then my social media icons. And then what I do is I just come in here and I'll just, um, I'll do this. I'll put, hey, hey, John, let's go with first name. Oh, damn it. Man. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to let's um let's take this out. Let's go back and do it again. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna go um I'm gonna go, hey Jason. Hey Jason. Hope, hope you're well and closing deals. If you haven't already, let's go with that. If you, if you, if you, damn it, you haven't already, connect with me on YouTube. I release weekly videos on social media marketing and Facebook advertising. If there's anything you want to know that can help take your business to the next level in 2020 please comment on any of my videos and 
and I'll have a training up right away. Click here. Click here to subscribe. Cheers to your success in 2020. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my link, right? Now I can either I can either I can either hyperlink inspired digital dot TV because it forwards here anyways, or I could just take the entire link. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do. You always want to try to have a, a direct connection to the link, not the bit.ly, not even the domain, um, not even the subdomain. Try to have a direct connection to the actual URL. Okay, straight to it. I want to take them right when they click here, they go straight to this URL, right? I don't want any hiccups. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hyperlink this. Click here to subscribe. And then what I'm also going to do, so let me bold this, and then I'm going to hyperlink that and put that link in right there what i'm also going to do is i'm going to take it up a notch and i'm going to add an image and this is going to be a simple image that i grab from canva real quick and here's what i'm going to do also i'm going to grab this and I am going to take out this I or this image here, take that one out. And I'm even gonna take, actually, you know what? I need to save that. Let me. Make a copy. Let's make a copy. Okay, perfect. This is what I needed. Because I didn't want to mess up the text of this one that's already saved. Perfect, I'll mess with this one. Okay, perfect. So here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. This right here, take that out and I'm gonna simply upload. Let's go with, um, we'll go photos and we'll type in YouTube and use one of Canva's. Bam. You just take that and then I can put that right here put that right there and this doesn't even matter the title that don't even matter because um and so what i want to do is also let's see what if i covered this top part just want to kind of move stuff around, right? See what it looks like in other places. Um, no big deal. This ain't even important. This ain't even, it don't even matter. I'm going to just put that right there. And then I'm going to put this one right here. Let's see if this might be too much. Yeah, I think that might be too much. Or if I can even put this over my face like this. I'm going to put that right there. You know how like there's a there's a YouTube little icon in the middle of, of things? No, actually that's too much. No big deal. That's all we need. That's all we need. Let's make this a little bigger. No big deal. This ain't even nothing to really worry about. Mm, bam. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simply save this. Let's grab this, let's download that, bam. And then I'm gonna simply bring it over here and I'm gonna link my subscription link. So that right there is that, bam. Then I'm gonna come over here, hit edit. I'm gonna paste in that URL. I'm gonna upload the image, bam. And there it is there, you guys. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna send a test email real quick. Let's send, so there goes the subscribe. Okay, so 
Hey, John, hope you're well and closing deals. If you haven't already, connect with me on YouTube. I release weekly videos on social media marketing and Facebook advertising. If there's anything you want to know, if there's anything you want to learn, if, you're, if there's anything you want to learn, if there's anything you want to learn that can help take your business to the next level in 2020, please comment on any of my videos and I'll have a training up right away. And I'll have a training video up right away. Click here to subscribe. Cheers to your success in 2020, David Cantero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to um, unhyperlink that because that doesn't need to be hyperlinked. So that's hyperlinked. The image is hyperlinked. And what I can do now is I'm going to put a title. Jack, um, Let's see, what can the title be? Let's put, uh, Jack, are you putting your videos here? Are you putting your videos here? Okay. Send test, bam, we're good with this one, you guys. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just roll with that. And again, man, in your, in your text, in your text, I mean, excuse me, in your emails, don't think, don't overthink it because at the same time, it's, it's not, it's not like even, um, there's a high, a super high open rate, but at the same time, depending on how you write, there can be, I have a pretty damn good open rate, um, for sure. But I truly believe I have an, a high open rate because of what I'm getting ready to tell you because I keep it real. It's like in my email, it's the same shit. It's like, it's how I talk. It's how it's, it's, it's how it's, it's, it's my mannerisms that are in my videos. You can watch my video see my personalities and see my characteristics. And I truly believe that's why people connect with you. That's why people relate to you. That's why you guys are all here today because you're seeing me, right? And you're, and you're accepting me for any flaw or for any imperfections. You're accepting me because I'm another human and I'm keeping it real. That's what this is all about. As long as you're, as long as you're keeping it real, sending, sending the email as if you're talking to your friend or sending the email as if you were sending a text, right? basic, simple, like nothing crazy fancy. And that's why a lot of times I don't go with the templates with these crazy fancy um, done for you templates. A lot of times I don't even go for that because it's too damn, it's too, it's too good. It's too corporate-y, right? It, it looks too damn good, right? And, and I don't, I mean, again, I, a lot of times I don't connect with that. Like I, me as a consumer, I don't connect to, to folks like that, that are trying to be too damn good right? Dumb it down, relate to the audience, right? Keep it simple. And that's why I think my emails get a high open rate, a high open rate, because I'm keeping it real. Are you putting your videos here? It's like, dude, what's David talking about now? Right. And so that, that alone, your line, your, your, your subject line that you want that to be, you know, somewhat catchy as well. Um, Jack, are you putting your videos here? Like, it's like, someone's going to look at them and be like, what the hell? Right. And then they're, and then they're going to be curious to open it. And then boom, they click on that. So let's send this test. Actually, we sent the test. So let's go check the emails. And then I'll end it right here with you guys. Let me just finalize that broadcast, send it out and, um, and, see, and see how fast we can um, track our open rate. And I'm saying 15 seconds, right? So let's see this. So here's the one at the top, test. Are you putting your videos here? Bam. People are going to see that. Hi, Tess. Hope you're well in closing deals. If you haven't already, connect with me on YouTube. I release weekly videos on social media marketing and Facebook advertising. If there's anything you want to learn that can help take your business to the next level in 2020, please comment on any of my videos and I'll have a training video up right away. Click here to subscribe. Cheers to your success, David. Look, we can click the link or we can click the image. Let's click the link. Bam, straight to the subscribe part. Let's click the image. Bam, straight to the subscribe part. So you guys step your game up, man. Step your game up, build your YouTube channel, dude. Build your YouTube channel because I'm telling you in 12 months, that income is gonna start building. And in that form of residual income, 
a few hundred a month will go a long way for any entrepreneur, man. We don't, it ain't easy, man. I got expenses. I got shit to pay. I got diapers to buy. Like it ain't easy shit. You know what I mean? That's why people think they can jump into entrepreneurship and then I'll go out there and give them the last 20 years of my journey. And they're like, holy shit, do I still want to do that? Right. It's like, dude, it ain't easy. So any type of extra income that you can build up. That's why a lot of my clients I talk to all the time. No wonder you don't have a marketing budget because 100% of your income is based on your business. So if you're not closing deals, you're not making money. Therefore, there's no money being made that could be put into marketing. This is what I'm talking about with clients, with business owners all the time, all the time. And then, and then some of my clients have a full-time job and they do real estate on the side. And I'm like, dude, that's the one I want to work with because that's the one that understands you need a cash flow. Shout out to my buddy, Kelly wants to quit his job as of yesterday. He wanted, he's been wanting to quit that job for the past 19 years. He hates his damn job. Trying to build a business online, trying to run Facebook ads, trying to get Kartra up and going. Shout out to my buddy, Kelly. Has a full-time job and can't stand it. But I'm like, dude, you need it. You need it. That full-time job is going to help you fund your part-time business. You need that advertising cost. You need that extra income, whether it's 100 a month, 200 a month, whatever. That's what your full-time hustle should be for. That's why with me, my full-time hustle is my agency, closing social media clients and doing simple Facebook advertising for them and, 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 and managing their landing page software. Simple stuff, right? But that's my, my daytime hustle because that funds my nighttime hustle, which my nighttime hustle is this YouTube channel. My nighttime hustle is my training course that I'm getting ready to scale, right? It funds my investing into courses and my education and my personal development to help me get better, right? So it's like, dude, um, where was I going at with all that shit? I was on a freaking rant. Um, but, 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 but my point is, is that you guys do this, man. In the next 12 months, I'm telling you, man, this extra income that can start building because you have subscribers that are now, you know, flocking to you. That income, you guys, can go a long way, man. That income can go a long way. So here's what I'm going to do, man. Um, let's go back to the channel really quick. And I don't think YouTube even, even freaking um, updates that fast. I mean, at all, at all, at all. But I mean, shit, just for shits and giggles, let's just, let's just go to the dashboard real quick. Um, let's finalize this email. And let's just kind of see where the number is at. So look here, dude, here, here, here. I'm going to just, I'm going to just put it to the test. You know, when you're watching this video, look at my subscriber count. Bottom line, because I'm shooting this video a few days prior, a few days from you guys even watching it, I'm shooting the video. So this is where I'm at today of me shooting this video. And then I'm about to send this email out. When you're watching this video, look at my subscriber count then. Okay. That's going to be enough proof that that's how you guys can track me. Okay. Just right now. Go look at my subscribers right now, dude. It takes you one second. Look at my subscriber count, okay? And again, this is one way I'm growing it. So here's what I'm gonna do. Email is good to go. We're gonna hit, um, we're gonna come down here and hit save and next. We don't need any automations right now. And I'm gonna send now. Send that bad boy now. I need that thing up now. Save and next, okay? And that right there, you guys, yes, congratulations. It went out to 343 people. Okay, that was the broadcast name. And we'll give it a few seconds, okay? This is where I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it by showing you the analytics of the email, okay? Let's just look at that real quick. That'll take one, one second. And then the subscriber count, again, look at my subscriber count. Go to my subscribers right now. Look at my subscriber count, and that will tell you enough right there, okay? But as far as the email, Okay, let's wait. I mean, shit, let's give it a few seconds. Let's give it, give it, um, give it, um, give it 10 seconds or start. Yeah, give it, give it 10 seconds. So give it 10 seconds. I'm going to open up the analytics um, of, of that email broadcast and, and we could track. I'm going to show you how there goes 10 seconds. There goes 15 seconds. Bam. Okay, so let's come over here and let's go into my communications and we're going to go to analytics and we're going to go to broadcast. It's literally been a few seconds, okay? This back end of Kartra tracks in real time. 
the subscriber over here, this is supposed to track in real time as well, but I don't know if, it, if it's really, really real time, um, but it's, it's pretty damn close. So I'm going to refresh this page before we're done after, after this part. So all categories, what category did I go with when I set it up? Inspired Digital. What broadcast was it? It was subscribed to my channel. I click on that. Look at that, dude. 19 people already opened it. That was last 30 days, but it doesn't matter. I can go today. It's, a, it's the same thing. This is the broadcast I'm referring to. So if I go today, it's the same exact numbers. Actually, it's 20. Look at that, you guys. That's a pretty damn good open rate, like that fast. And again, my, it's, I believe it's because of my email. I keep it super raw. I keep it authentic. That's how it is when that, that you get what you get, right? I talk like that in video form. I talk like that in a text. When I'm texting my wife, I talk like that when I'm emailing my list, AKA my family, all you guys, man. So those of you that are subscribed, shout out to every single one of you. If you haven't, please subscribe, man. Smash the bell for notifications. Drop me a comment. Let me know where you guys are coming from, man. All I'm doing is documenting my journey. I'm building a social media agency. I'm, cl I'm closing clients every single week. Um, affiliate marketing money, digital course money, YouTube ad revenue money. And it is 2020 and I'm fired up. So we'll refresh this one last time. See if that 20 increases. Let's go back and choose the category. We'll go to inspired digital. We'll go to subscribe to my channel. We'll go today and 21 people opened it already. And let me refresh this, but I don't think that up, up I mean, up, even if someone did subscribe, I don't think it updates that fast, but refresh that real quick. And you guys will see when you get here, man. So when you're watching this video, freaking come and see for yourself. Click on the damn, you know, come to my homepage and, and look at my subscribers. See what they are then. But this is right here, super powerful, you guys. And just another way that I get people to subscribe to my channel. So the link to add to yours, um, to your URL is, is, is in the description. And again, you guys subscribe and stay in touch, man. I'll see you on the next video. Over and out.